Glitching AI Shopify drop shipping tutorial. So hello everyone. So in today's video, I will show you guys on how to use glitching AI and import your products to Shopify. So without further ado, let us begin. So first thing you have to do is go to the glitching.ai website and then make an account. Or if you already have an account, so sign in. After signing in or signing up, you'll be greeted by this dashboard over here. So in the left corner right here, you will see a lot of options that you could choose for your drop shipping needs. So first we have glitch mode, AI product finder, product pages, courses, ads, and you can also have access to their private discord and where you can ask questions or ask for tips. So let us begin. So the first thing that you need to do is to find your product. So with glitching.ai, you can use its AI to find products for you. So what you can do is either go to the AI product finder over here or just start off with glitch mode. So basically what glitch mode does, it does everything that you need to do. So it finds you a product, creates you a store, creates you ads, and learn drop shipping. So let's go with glitch mode. So click on glitch mode right there and then just click on start glitching. And then from there, it will find your product, create your store name, finding you some ads and a lot more. So as you can see over here, it shows me this product right here. So the Basius 100 watts Pro Desktop Charger Power Strip US Plug Charging. So when I click on view details over here, it will display the details of our product. So it will display its sales price, the cost, and the profit. And then you can, you can also get access to the product right here on different websites. So we have Amazon, AliExpress, and Get Supplier. Moving on, so we have the Store Builder. So this, so with this part, Glitching.ai will build your store for you. So as you can see, it will look like this. And then from here, you can also change the brand colors, the brand font, the theme, the store name, and the product name. Moving on is we have ads and creative. So what, the, what this does is that it displays ads that are similar to your product. And over here, it already made you an ad right here and um, scripts for your ad. So this ad right here is for TikTok and they also have for Meta if you want to advertise your product in Facebook. Next is we have the marketing plan. So what this does is it tells you how to sell your product. So it, so it will tell you who to sell it to, how to sell, where to advertise, and how to advertise. And then next is we have the execution plan. So these are the steps that you need to do to start up your drop shipping journey. So first thing we need to do is import our product in Shopify. So what you need first is a Shopify account. So go to shopify.com and create your account. So there will be a, a three day free trial so that you can get the so that you can get used to in using Shopify. And then after that, there will be a promo that you can use in where your payment for Shopify will be $1 per month. So when I click on select a plan right here, as you can see that the basic plan of Shopify is $1, the Shopify plan is also $1, and the advanced Shopify plan is also $1. So feel free to make use of this. So now, let us import our product page to Shopify. So to do that, what you want to do is go to your store builder right here and then there will be a button right there that will say import product page. So to import that product page, what you want to do is just click on import right here and then it will ask you import to Shopify to so connect your store. To import your product page, you must first connect your store to glitching. So all you have to do is just click on connect my store right here. And then it will ask you for your store URL and your app token. And then there will be a video over here on how to connect your store with glitching. So I will show that to you now. So the first thing you will do is get your store URL. So to get your store URL in Shopify, what you want to do is go back to Shopify right here, go to apps, and then go to app and sales settings. And then you will see over here under your, your store name, this is your URL. So what you want to do is just copy it. And please do not type it because there might be a chance that you might make an make a mistake and then go back to glitching and then paste in your store url there moving on let us get our app token in shopify so 
In getting our app token, we will need to create our app in Shopify. So to do that, what you want to do is go back to your Shopify page. Let's just exit this out real quick and then go to apps, go to app and sales channel settings again and click on develop apps. And then from there, it will ask you start developing apps on your store. So make sure that you should allow custom app development and then again, click on allow custom app development and then from there let us start creating our app so click on create an app right here and then it will ask you for your app name so let's just name it glitching and then once you're done just click on create app and then from there what you want to do is click on configure admin api scopes and then from there what you want to do is search for product and then make sure that these boxes over here under products are checked so make sure that right products is checked and then when you check on the first box it will also check the second box moving on let us search again for themes so make sure to click on the box on right themes and, and, and then it will automatically check read themes then after that click on save and then once you're done go to api credentials oh wait before you go to api credentials what you need to do is install the app first so install the app install and then you will see your token right here so click on reveal token once and then just copy your token and then go back to the glitching website and then just paste your token there and then just click on connect and then just wait for it to connect and then as you can see it is now connected to glitching and then now what you want to do is go to glitch mode again and go to previous glitches and then just select the product that you generated before and then just click on load glitch and then again go back to store builder and then click on import product page and then it will ask you to select your theme so select your theme from here so there is a dawn theme a sense theme refresh theme craft theme spotlight theme the beautify theme so for me i'll just choose the dawn theme and then once you have chosen your theme just click on import and then it will import your product page to shopify so it might take up to 30 seconds and then once it's done there'll be a notification that will say product page imported to shopify so just click on ok got it so it will say here you can see your imported products by clicking on the products tab in your admin dashboard so let's go back to shopify and then go to products let that refresh for a bit and then as you can see my product that i chose in glitching.ai is now being shown in the shopify dashboard so when I click on the product that I, that I have chosen in glitching.ai, as you can see, it will provide the title, um, the photos, the media, the pricing, and a lot more. You can also tweak out some stuff over here if you want to. So you can add a description or, or let it generate text for you, change the pricing, the inventory, the location, the shop location, the shipping weight, variants if you have, and a lot more. And then once you are done tweaking all of your settings over here, just click on save. And then when I go to my online store right here and then go to customize, go to catalog, you will see that glitching AI will automatically add your product to your website. So it's pretty, pretty useful. And then from here, you can also add some extra details to your website so that you can customize it to your own liking. So if you want to add more designs, you can add it here by using Shopify. So you can edit anything that you want here. So you can edit the buttons. You can add more products if you want to, add payment methods, and a lot more. And then after that, you are now pretty done in the part in where you can connect your glitching AI to your Shopify account. So what you need to do now is complete the rest of the steps over here. So by creating ads, following the marketing plan and the execution plan so yeah so that is pretty much it on how to drop ship using glitching ai with shopify